Hey squaddies and welcome to Thriving with the Sussexes. My name is Deanna and I'm here to record on all things Sussex. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with it. Hey squaddies, happy Sunday, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening whenever you're listening or watching. Hello. Be sure to check out memberships. You can join if you're interested. You'll be in a company of equally amazing squaddies. <laughs> And just like with all my information, I'll put the links inside the description box. Thanks. So as many of you already know, my birthday was yesterday, the first day of fall. <laughs> September 23rd, Libra season. Yeah, I was just going to enjoy my birthday and not really do anything. I wasn't going to really post a podcast this weekend. But then I kept seeing more and more pictures and videos and... Oh my gosh, I had to talk about them. <laughs> I try to talk about them with, you know, family members and friends and they don't really want to talk <laughs> to me. I don't really follow the royals. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You follow Krishan Rock and Blueface. <laughs> so here I am doing a podcast. And it's so lovely to see Harry and Meghan out and about <laughs> living their lives. As you already know, Harry and Meghan were amongst the A-listers, many of them, by the way, who joined fellow A-lister Kevin Costner at a 1805 charity fundraiser in Santa Barbara, California on Friday. The actor hosted the 1805 Live Fall 2023, which was held in support of the first responder community and headlined by Maroon 5. I love Maroon 5. <laughs> and this was all held at his beachfront estate. It's absolutely wonderful seeing the royal it's couple out and about and mingling with fellow neighbors and friends within the community. The Soda Fundraiser concert featured Maroon 5 with the band leader Adam Levine sharing, We wouldn't be here tonight if it weren't for these incredible men and women. They put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe and we can't thank them enough. One of the attendees also said that it's great to see Hollywood royalty coming together to share such an important cause. It's a reminder that even the biggest names in entertainment appreciate the hard work and sacrifices of our first responders. Kevin Costner also thanked Harry and Meghan during the concert, saying, We are so grateful to have Prince Harry and Meghan here today. They are passionate about supporting first responders and we're honored. Showing the world once again that service is universal. You don't have to be a welfare royal or anything like that to show that you care. And that was me saying that, not Kevin Costner, by the way. Uh, he already have, I already, I just wanted to add on with the service is universal thing because, I mean, once again, you don't have to be a welfare royal, as I mentioned before. You, if you want to help off for a good cause, you can do it. Anyone can do it. And of course, we have to mention Megan's fashion because our girl looked fall ready and absolutely stunning in her Carolina Herrera cape. And she was sporting some beautiful pair of Manola Blahniks while Harry looked casual in his black suit jacket. Seeing so many photos and videos of the couple, not just interacting with celebrities, but with regular people just proves once again as well that they were never the problem. They've moved on and living their lives their way and I am here for it. I love this for them. And take a look at this A-list photo. And oh my gosh, look at my auntie Oprah. <laughs> Envious copycats could never. I've decided to join the hosts of New Yorkers doing their morning routine. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> it was wonderful waking up in New York on a sunny morning rather than the rain we had yesterday. <laughs> it was beautiful getting some fresh air this morning. Ah, so how was that like, jogging with New Yorkers? It was quite swell, quite swell. To be by the side of peasants, um, runners, uh, New Yorkers. Ah, <laughs> did anyone recognize you? Of course not. No one recognizes me, it seems. I run much faster than Harold. 
Who's Harold? No comment. I appreciate being the lone interviewer regarding your earth chat. Would you mind telling us more about it? Clean water, clean air, clean planet. Okay, <laughs> I'm sure your family is very excited about this. Uh, Charity, have you spoken with Harry and Megan and asked them for some advice on how to run a successful charity? You know, Harry's Adventures Games just wrapped up about a week ago. Um, William? Willie? 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 What? You were out for some minutes. Rose was terrified. As was me. But why do you have to do this inside my office? Your Highness, William saw photos and videos of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex participating at an A-lister fundraiser with the likes of Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, Kevin Costner, and many more. The group photo is what set him off. Tampon, baby! I've just read a few articles about your son and daughter-in-law in a fundraiser in California. I know Willie's struggling hairstrings will finally leave his bald head. Oh, hello, Rose, Kate, and William. Why does hell keep outwitting me, outshining me, outing me in every bloody way? Kevin Costner is one of my favorite actors, and now they're friends. Has all of Hollywood and the sticks gone mad? I'm the heir to the throne, not him. You're still on about that, New York. <laughs> I would never visit that filth pit again. No one even knew who I was. And when they learned I wasn't held, they counseled on me. Counseled? Me? The future king of England? Peasants, all of them. Um, um, at least you have the payroll of the British media to boost that eagle of yours. Oh, shut up, you mumbling mouse. Mumbling mouse? At least, at least. I'm more known in the sticks than you are! You really aren't helping. Oh, shut up, wench! You don't even know how to wake him up after his spell. Walks 364 divided by 52. I, um... I'm gonna be King Consort anyway, so it doesn't matter what answer that is. At least Diana could have answered that question. Oh, be quiet, horsemiller. I'm already in distress over me, me, Megan's Carolina Herrera. And I can't even push it because it's out of season. Oh, you don't even have to worry about that thing. I'm certain your first day won't even be able to handle it. And your face could cause the key to wither away. He would suffer the same fate with your unbotox face. As a matter of fact, that wig alone would cause quite a terror. Ah! Alright, that's quite enough. Now, all of you, out of my office, at once. And that's all for this podcast. And I hope that your days are full with blue skies, sunshines with positive vibes. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, join a membership. I have the links inside the description box. My name is Deanna, and you are watching Thriving with the Sussexists. Talk to you soon.